Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so in a previous video that I did last year, um, I discussed how I bought 50 of these uh, Mew Blackstar promos from around 1999 to 2000. Um, they actually say 98 on here, but they were released 1999, yeah, by Game Freak. Okay, so I bought 50 of these and I paid one pound per card now I bought these as a speculative investment um, in terms of I wanted to hold them um, and then sell them for more later on that's the whole point of investing so what's happened since um, is I now only have 25 of the original 50 that I have left um, so the financials turned into almost a profit so I bought these for a pound a card so 50 cost me 50 quid now I sold 25 of these for two pounds 50 each so already uh, I've made back the money that I invested originally and I sold 25 for two pounds 50 now I still have 25 left so what's gonna happen is every card that I sell from now on no matter how much I sell it for is going to be profit now that's a good investment from my point of view is I've already covered the original outlaying cost of the £50. I've made that back plus a bit extra um, minus a little bit obviously for shipping um, postage stamps um, really that's the only outset and eBay fees but beyond that there's potential for me to make more money from this now what happened is I put these on eBay and they were sat there for a long time and nothing really happened uh, at two pounds fifty two pounds forty nine um, but eventually they started to sell um, and slowly day by day I was selling one one card a day until I became um, a best match for this card so if you typed in the word Pokemon on eBay, this was the first um, lot you would have seen on there, um, which meant I ended up with maybe like five to ten orders in a day um, selling this card. Now, obviously, with them being such an old card, I'm sorry for the, the colour, guys. The glare from the window is not, not too great. Um, but the card itself, um, they're quite clean i mean for the age they're like really really good condition some are even mint condition um and people were asking you know you know you've only got so many left now um you have i think i got down to like three and people were asking what the condition was um, because i said i'd send the best first and then whatever is left you know you if they've got some whiting on it or whatever that's just what you're going to get but i wasn't that mean um I actually looked through and I just kept selecting the best ones that I could. Now, most of them just had no whiting or damage to them whatsoever, which is really good if they ever send them off to PSA. Although I would say that PSA have a lot of these on file, um, recorded um, and graded. So they're probably not going to see a huge investment return on that. Um, but, you know, it's... It's a popular card it sold really well um, and that was quite a good investment for me so what else have I been buying well hidden fates so this <laughs> was an absolute steal of a deal really um, I actually bought the whole box that was on the shelf um, so when this set came out obviously it went crazy because of the shining charizard um and the other shinies that come in the set but the charizard was the chase card as always so i went online i tried to buy some um i paid above the asking price which the retail price was around about 17 18 pounds a tin these usually can sometimes retail for like 14 to 15 pounds on certain sites um that didn't happen they shot out the gate at around 18 um, I bought some Charizard tins I have about four or five uh, about I pay between 20 to 25 pounds per tin um, which I felt at the time was a bit overpriced but it was Charizard 
And I thought, from an investment standpoint, that's going to st stand the test of time, which turns out right now it has absolutely. Now, these were on the shelf in a Tesco store locally to me for £13.50 a tin. Now, everywhere else was selling these for £20 per tin, um, wherever you went online or what in a store so i bought the whole shelf of what they had which was just the five tins sadly but i already have the charizard tins which i'm happy with now these are actually all retailing for 40 pounds each here in the uk because we there's such low demand uh so such low um such low product availability that's what i was looking for um in terms of what you can buy um, the US seem to have a lot of these tins um, I've seen channels opening up hundreds of tins um, but that only increases the value of these tins because if there's not as many on the market or available to buy um, these prices go up so these tins are now retailing between £40 um, to £45 per tin Charizard obviously is the higher price £45 to £50 a tin um, I've seen some people selling the set, so Raichu, Gyarados, and the Charizard tin for um, anywhere between 120 to 150 online um, as a trio set. Um, just because of the inability to get hold of these tins, so really absolute bargain of a deal getting these all these for thirteen pounds fifty when they were retailing at twenty pounds everywhere else, and then the price skyrocketed. Um, to £40 pounds a tin um, and they're only going to increase in value I think because of the demand for that shining Charizard um, and again you know Charizard's always going to be the most popular card so talking of Charizard I thought we'd have a little look at some of mine um, and we can just discuss some of the price changes that's been happening um, and how I started with buying Charizards so originally I bought my first Charizard for £15. Now this must be about 10 years ago now. Um, £15 was the asking price. It kind of remained the same. It, the, it kind of flatlined. Um, I remember when we first opened base set um, as a child, uh, all of the shops were selling Charizard for £15, which seemed pricey at the time as a child. But now looking back, it was reasonable. Um, so I bought mine about five to ten years after i opened my first ever pack and that was still 15 pounds so it it really flatlined for years for almost a decade it, it just flatlined and there was no increase in price so um that charizard is actually in a folder of my complete base set um but then i bought some extras so i thought we'd talk through some price points of what they cost me and the cost of their what they're worth now so this one i bought for around 20 to 30 pounds i can't remember the exact figure um but again a great investment as you can tell by now these are skyrocketing to 150 to 170 a card um bit crazy if you ask me um but that's the market at the current prices people are paying them there's a demand for them it's just going to increase the, the 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 price even more so the next ones i bought were this one and this one now i bought this from the same person um and these were both 40 pounds each which again absolute absolute steal um and that was only maybe 3 years ago so 2017, 2018 time frame, um, I bought those. Um, and then I bought uh, this one. Uh, this came from someone's collection. Um, and I bought the whole collection. Um, but they were priced individually. And this one cost me £75, which I thought at the time was a bit on the higher end, a bit too pricey. Because um, they were only fetching between £75 to £80 at the time. But... You know, it's it's kind of paid itself really. Um, it's almost a hundred pounds more now for certain conditions, which is incredible. Um, so let's just quickly go back and talk about Dark Charizards. So I bought my first Dark Charizard for about ten pounds. Um, 
I have a slightly damaged one that was about eight pounds. Um, these two I picked up for seventeen pounds each, um, which were crazy cheap at the time. And again, that was only maybe two or three years ago, 2017, 2018 time frame. Um, so they've just all skyrocketed in price. Um, so what else has gone up in price is these evolutions and the market seems a bit strange about these they either sell really well or they don't now i've seen people asking about 40 pounds for these cards um, i haven't checked for sold prices but they've kind of skyrocketed again again i was picking these up for about 10 pounds um, per card and again i also have the non uh not the hollow version, but the reverse hollow versions. I bought a few of those as well. Um, just because I just really like the card. I knew it would go up in price eventually. Um, I wasn't expecting it to go up quite so much. Um, I would expect, for an example, that this card I was buying, what, £17, maybe £20 for the, my la last one I got in my other folder. Um, to be around about the £30 mark, 35 maybe edging towards 40 based on when I bought these and the prices I bought these at. Um, but, you know, they've kind of doubled, trebled, quadrupled in price um, re just recently, which is just absolutely insane. So, again, it's just another um, investment that's paid off. So... There's another card out right now um, that I'm speculating on, um, which is a Charizard Hollow. It is a promo card. Now, there doesn't seem to be too much demand or availability in the UK for this card, which seems a bit strange, and it might just be because it was a US release. I know US have a lot, but the price they're asking for is extortionate. Now, I bought these cards for around about five to six pounds per card which i feel is a good investment opportunity whereas then i saw uh, the exact same card sell for 22 pounds now i don't understand the concept of that of how it's so pricey but you could just search for it and people are selling it for six uh, five or six pounds um there are some people asking 12 13 14 15 pounds to buy it now um there's some sellers that are a bit bigger and they're just trying to get rid of stock um they were the ones that were selling it for five or six pounds and i just bought them all um again it's speculative um i feel the artwork itself is really good i think the card is going to be a long-term hold keep hold of it um an investment it's definitely worth to speculate on such a cheap card. Um, again, whether it goes up or not, I don't know. But from history, it's Charizard is going to go up in price. So I think that's pretty much most of the price changes for Charizard that I'm aware of. You know, more of the, the older Watsy era, you know, the Wizard of Coast era cards. They're the ones that have shot up in price. Um, what I'm doing personally um, as a hobby, I'm actually trying to complete base set 2. Um, so I have a base set 2 Charizard, Blastoise and Venusaur already. So I've already bought them when they were cheaper, um, which is fantastic because their prices are just a bit too much for what I would be willing to pay right now. Um but the rest of the cards that I need from the set are reasonably priced. They're still quite cheap. So I think base set two is going to be quite a nice little investment. Personally, I just want to complete it as a folder. You know, I've got base set complete, um, fossil jungle, team rocket. And then I'm going to work on base set two, get that complete. And then work on um, legendary collection which the Charizards are insanely priced for that, which are going to be very hard to find. Um, but I don't have those yet. But I also want to complete the Japanese base set. Now, I already have Japanese Charizards. I have Japanese Blastoise and Venusaur. Um, I'll try and locate which folder they're in. So I've got so many folders with so many different random cards in it. Um, not sure where they are. 
but um, you just have to take my word for it. I do have um, base set um, Charizard in Japanese, uh, Venusaur Blastoise. Um, I have some others like Polyrath, um, Alexam. So they're all going to be quite an easy set to complete, I believe. Um, especially if come considering how much the price is going for a completed base set Japanese, which is really good for the investment that I bought. Um, I was buying these, actually bought these these two Japanese cards for um, 15 to 20 pounds. Um, if you go over to Japan right now, these they're asking like nearly 100 quid, if not more. I think one was like 10,000 yen, which is about 1,000 pounds or something in one store, which was just insane to, to see. Because my friend went over to Japan and showed me, and I was just like, that's just just incredible you know because i i bought one of these from japan um i bought one from a uk seller uh, many many years ago um and one came uh directly from japan um i think i bought i've got some of us here as well um but yeah so there's a new Charizard card coming out. I definitely think it's worth investing. If you could get any cheap hidden fates, definitely worth investing. Um, the next thing, other than completing the base set to Hollow, my next investment is going to be the new Pokemon sets. Now, this is going to be quite a long video because, <laughs> you know, there's a lot to cover. There is a lot to cover and we haven't been on here for a while. Um, so, again... This is more of a personal investment, just because I like the card detail. Um, ignore these prices, these are from something else. Um, Snorlax, uh, VMAX. Now, this is from Sword and Shield base set. Now, these came out around about £20 to start with. There wasn't many on the market. Um, they slowly increased in, um, dem uh, in availability, so the price dropped to... 15 then 12 now i thought it would go to 10 and i was just going to buy as many as i could but what happened is availability stopped demand grew price shot up to 19 pounds a card and i thought that's a bit pricey for me to invest in so i found these ones um, in the us they were 10 pounds each so i bought them um, and got them imported over they were of good purchase because I knew instantly that if they're fetching those prices in the UK, um, I'm already making money. But I love the artwork. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's one of the best um, designs I've seen in a long time. It's just incredible. Um, again, investing for me is also enjoying what I'm investing in. So I absolutely love the design of this card. So i I bought it because I want to own that card. Um, the fact that it, it's worth more now than it was, incredible. That's, again, a great investment. What's cheap at the moment is these Lapras VMAX cards. They're going down in price. Um, I've seen fetching about £5, some of them. Um, definitely worth picking up a couple and holding on to. Um, again, the artwork's really nice. Um, it's got some really nice colours in there. I think it's going to be something collectors might want in the long term just because it's not going to be as um, available as it is or has been for example sword and shield base set um, there's not many retailers online in the uk that actually have any stock anymore it's all gone um, so again i've bought a few booster boxes of that when it came out um, and i'm definitely going to buy the next set because there is a new charizard coming out and again, that's going to be speculative and increase the value. Um, and I also bought this for about £20. Um, whether that increases in price, I don't know. Um, again, it was more of a personal choice because for me, investing is also enjoying the cards that I want. And I wanted this card, so I paid the price. Um, haven't seen any less um, on the market for that. can only imagine it's going to go up a little bit as... Um, the availability drops and demand increases just because with um, Sword and Shield there's not been as many openings um, there's not as many on the market 
which is why the price goes up on certain high-end cards. So it's been a long video, I do apologise, um, but yeah, modern, um, Darkness Ablaze, I'm going to buy uh, booster boxes of that, um, single cards I'll get a hold of wherever I can for Charizard, the Japanese version of the Charizard full art which came in a pre-release set um, in Japanese, uh, definitely going to try and pick up some of them, I'm just waiting for the price to drop a little bit because they're still quite high, um, but yeah. That's basically a 20 minute video of what I am investing in, what I've invested in, what I'm going to buy currently, um, what I'm looking to buy in the future. So I hope you found that informative. I hope it was uh, enjoyable. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you even made it this far. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. Bye.